over one and oh fucking the bin's moving. Right. Hello everyone and welcome back. I look like a drowned rat, which can only mean one thing. This is a video from Asia, or more specifically, Hong Kong. I'm in Mong Kok at the moment. It's a very rainy Friday afternoon and today is day 998. For long-term viewers, you'll know that the Tower of David is about the journey of David and I'm very close to the end. Okay, it's not really the end, but 1,000 days is coming up, right, in two days. And I'm in Hong Kong for literally one more day before I head to Bali for my summer break. Today, I'm very much in Paris mode. In Paris, I was completely relaxed. I wasn't too bothered about actually having a structured video. I'm just gonna see what happens today and explore a bit more of Hong Kong. Once again, I was here about two and a half years ago. I was so sick when I was here the last time. So there are some things that I didn't get to do that time, which I'm gonna do in this video. First off, we're having some food. So in the spirit of just seeing how things go, next to my tripod, sorry, bin, I just saw this sign for some Indian stroke Pakistani food. When I was in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, the um, food, the Indian food was spectacular, so I'm hoping this will be similar. So we've got naan bread, roti, biryani, aloo gobi, bindi masala, tandoori chicken, butter chicken, all good in my book. There's lots of food down here, so we've also got Japanese, shabu shabu, Japanese beef, another one of my favourites. Oh, it's called Miss India. Lovely. Oh, slide door. Okay. <laughs> As always, I'm skint, so I'm just going to be a basic bitch. Let's see what we can find. So the food is here. I have jira rice with, I think it's cumin in it, I can't remember, was it cumin? I don't know, what am I, food YouTube all of a sudden? Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> and also, a bit of a flashback to Kuala Lumpur. I had the best cheese naan in Kuala Lumpur. I have one of my favorites, Kima naan. Absolutely beautiful, filled with meat. So in the style of me, which I hope you have come to know and love, awful lighting and knowing nothing about food. <laughs> Rice, beautiful, cumin. Mm, quite sticky. Oh, and the spices are good. Mm, proper Indian rice. Let's have a look at the kimono. You know what? I'm a little bit disappointed because normally when I have kimono, it's like full of meat, but there's not much in there. You know? I've got to put it down. How do these food YouTubers do it, eh? Mm, spicy. Memories of, you know, proper Indian food back in the UK. Nice. Could have more meat though. <coughs> okay, I've just had to take a moment to recover because whenever I have Indian food, I could literally sleep forever. It's that good. Absolutely ultimate. As you can see, Kimono on gone. Play empty. Good job, David. Let's get going. Ooh, everyone's looking at me as they walk past it. Amazing how I'm still not used to that after three years and almost a thousand days. But if you're new to Asia, so countries like Malaysia, Thailand, Hong Kong, where else? Singapore as well. The best places to come for food are these like local places that are in these markets or just like on the side of these markets. Cheap, well not cheap, I don't like using that word, affordable and absolutely gorgeous. We may have it all Up the ladder, down the wall Different mysteries Full love mixed with tears We are happy most of the time And we get along better than fine Right, we prayed through the ups and downs. We sweat, it's easy either way. Okay, this is a new angle. I'm on top of a bus stop now. Now, I'm walking down Nathan Road, which goes from my past Mong Kok all the way down to TST, Sim Sha Sui. And if you are on a budget coming to Hong Kong, you might think, oh, it's too expensive to go to Hong Kong. Actually, it is possible. You know, I've been here twice on a budget. Both times I've stayed in a hostel. There are hostels down here and 
more affordable Airbnbs. I'm talking like 25 to 30 US dollars a night. I know that's expensive in comparison to like Cambodia or Vietnam or something, but that's life. But no, that's probably the cheapest you'll find. There is somewhere right down the end, which, which I stayed at last time, Chungking Mansions. Any Hong Kong will be able to tell you about it. It's got a bit of a reputation. I was on the 16th floor. Hey man. And uh, yeah, just watch out around the area. There's a lot of immigrants around there selling things, drug dealers, things like that. So just watch out if you do choose to stay down here. Okay, I've just ranted about this on Instagram. I am so triggered right now. Hashtag triggered. There's a guy over there, the one that's now packing up his things. I'll tell you why in a moment. Beg packers. I didn't know this was a thing. Well, I did, but I'd never seen it in real life. He's sitting there with, like, selling, like, typical backpacker wristbands, you know, sitting on a seat with a little sign saying, World Tour, support my tour. No. I tell you what, get a job. If you can't afford to travel, you don't travel. And there's people walking past, and all credit to the Hong Kongers down Nathan Road, because they're walking past, they look at him, they roll their eyes, you know, they don't even entertain it. And the guy that was just there, I think, I, I don't think he was a policeman, like security guard or something, he was basically telling him to move. So I think he is now moving. Sorry, mate, that's life. I have to be covert about this, and apologies for getting angry, but, you know, this goes right back to the beginning when I was a backpacker. You just don't do that sort of thing. You know, I've seen adverts about people in like Thailand and countries that are less economically well off doing that. It's absolutely disrespectful and cheeky. I cannot believe it. So good on that guy there for telling this guy to move on. So angry. You could argue that Hong Kong is a rich country, rich city, whatever. But it's the principle of the thing, you know. I would not go to Tepito in Mexico City and beg on the street for people to fund my trip. It's absolutely so disrespectful. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my God. And, you know, would I go to someone like Singapore and do it? You know, you think, you, I can understand why they do it because it's a rich place and people will have money, but people will not give you money. So if you're thinking of doing that, delete that from your mind straight away. Right, that's it. I'm going to stop ranting. It's time to move on. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's grim today, isn't it? The weather is shit <laughs> and i am back in the area around chunking mansions which is there omg um yeah i used to go up there all the time and the thing that you have to look out for in this area you've probably seen some as i've been walking and there's some right in front of me um there's a guy just tried to stop me then a lot of south asian guys here trying to sell things sell your drugs fake watches and all sorts of other shit. And there is some right there. See? Swarming. My hostel was up there. 16th floor. Right, we're down the end of Nathan Road now. And I'm pretty sure the last time I was here, that building wasn't there. Or well, maybe it's that building that wasn't here. I'm going to have to watch my old videos. I remember there being like construction work here about two years ago so obviously there's a lot of construction going on in Hong Kong at all times and the award for the crappiest lighting on the planet goes to me this is normally an absolutely spectacular view but obviously it can't always be perfect I'm gonna play with the brightness and everything when I edit this oh look helicopter in the distance this is gonna be really fun editing this because I can't see anything right now <laughs> hope you can Okay, the thing I wanted to do in this video that I didn't do the last time was go up Victoria Peak overlooking the city. But as you can probably tell from the low cloud on the peak, there's no point. Any excuse for no physical activity, right? So I'm going to pick up with you later once it's dark so I can show you a bit of Hong Kong at night. And I think Victoria Peak will be good for the 1000 day video celebration or whatever. Okay, despite the string thingy in the way, I've jumped on the Star Ferry back to Wan Chai. It cost $2.20 Hong Kong. I'm not sure if it's cheap if you use an octopus, I can't remember because I didn't get one this time. Uh, but yeah, well, the ferry.
Hong Kong downtown, central, skyscrapers galore, Ferris wheel, ridiculously tall building there. God, this lighting. Oh, that's what it looks like when it's blue skies. Yeah, you can also check out my old videos. The whole playlist is in the description. By the way, they are absolutely awful because it was like two months after I started YouTube. So I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Well, I still don't really, but you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna go home, have a shower. I'll pick up with you after dark. Okay, I'm just on a bridge watching a lightning storm in Hong Kong on a Friday night. Epic. I'm loving like cityscapes at night. Singapore is also similar with all the lights and the tall buildings and everything. Yeah, lightning, wicked. And um, I've had a good day today, as always, you know, when I'm relaxed and just taking it how it comes. It was good to go back to some old places again, as well as Mong Kok. I've never been there before. Um, we're going to try and go up Victoria Peak in the next video, like I said. But if not, if the weather is bad, I do have another option up my sleeve. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that malarkey. And um, I will see you next time. Catch you later.